is Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. It is uh, 10.30 a.m. and we have a current temperature of plus four. So not bad, not a bad day. I'm on um, Dresden Row right now in Halifax. We were getting some rain right now. It's kind of foggy, but no rain. But I got my umbrella in hand in case, in case I'm going to need it. I may need it yet before this walk is complete. Anyways, it's not a bad day out here. It's, it's this time of the year, we're almost to the end of March. Can you imagine? We're going to be in April soon. That's when you start to get the good weather, and but you usually get rain too. Yeah, um, they got a structure up over me here. Well, we're almost yeah, almost to April. Wow, this is this is like really really amazing that we've uh, come through all of our winter and almost a month in the spring now. Pretty good. We got something to smile about here. Yep. All right. I'm just going to walk around this area a little bit and then we'll see where we end up here. Artillery place. That way, I, there's not much to see. There's a, a military installation of some kind there. That's about it. Nothing really to, to see. What do they want to go down through here? Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go down through here. The poor guys that have to deliver that lazy boy stuff. That's heavy. I know. I used to, I used to do the, some of that stuff in, in uh, Toronto. The lazy boy. I didn't work for a furniture company. I worked for trucking company and one of our customers was Lazy Boy and I can tell you their stuff is heavy. Well made, Lazy Boy is well made, good good quality furniture but it's not light. So the guys doing that are going to be going to be uh, earning their money. <laughs> All right. Very nice looking, couple of nice looking uh, condo buildings or apartment buildings here. They're all filled up, I would say, because they've been here a while. Ah, just get a look at these. Right downtown in Halifax. Parking, you have to pay to park in here, so for a half hour, $2. Wow. So if you come to visit anybody here, you gotta you gotta pay to park. <laughs> At least our, our building's not that bad. People can can park there without without having to pay. <laughs> oh well, that's the way it is some places. But they're nice looking buildings. That clock there says 1025. I might have been off a little bit of my time. I think I said 10, 10.30 maybe or 10. It was close anyway. I may have been out a few minutes, depending. But that's all right, it's enough. It's close enough, 1025 right now. I want to walk different different trails than what I walk all the time. Sometimes I take different uh, 
different direction here today. There's the, there's the park right there. I'm not going through it today. I'm going to walk down the street beside it and on the north end. North end of it, and then we'll see where we go after that. Or we could go right out this way, too. But one thing for sure, if you want to cross the street, I gotta do it at the crosswalk. It could be dangerous uh, running across there. Um, lots of fog today. Look, look at that fog. Very foggy. Very foggy day today. Maybe that means the rain is gone. I don't know. Alright. Public gardens and north east corner. But I'm gonna just take the street today. I don't remember the last time I walked down this, this side of the park. It's been quite a while. You know, it's very easy to just walk in there, but I've been in the park quite a bit lately, so I'm just going to be out of there today. The fog is nice. You put a nice touch on fishers and walks. As we walk along here, I can see the beauty in the fog. Quite a few parking spots empty along here. I think I feel rain. Maybe I better get my uh, umbrella out of here. It feels like a little bit of rain coming down here. There we go. That's a little better. I don't want to get my phone all wet. Yes, indeed. Rain is falling. When I started out, it wasn't raining, but it is now. Okay, that's better. At least there's not too much wind that it's hard to hold, hold out of my umbrella. That's not the case today. It's, it's windy, but... It's, it's, it's tolerable. It's, it's not so bad that you can't manage it. Very hitting. Sounds like it's gonna rain quite a bit yet before it's done. I was hoping that uh, maybe it was over for today and it was just foggy. Nope, not the case. Rain, rain, rain. One nice thing about this umbrella is it's extremely light. It won't stand too much wind, but as far as carrying it, it's like really light. So I like it for that reason. It's not built real tough, so I, I don't like it for that reason. 
it don't stand much wind. It turned inside out on me a couple of times. But it's not real expensive, so I'm not out too much if it breaks. You'll see too many people in the park today. You want to see what it looks like down through there? See the fog? It might make a nice picture. There we go. That's what it looks like down through the park. Looking at the fog. Alright. wind down this way. I'm hoping I can find a street to get some shelter from the wind. Maybe, maybe we can. This isn't a, I wouldn't call this a really bad day. It's just a little bit, a little, little inconvenience, but it's not a really horrible bad day. It's not a day you have to stay in the house. You can't get out because so much rain or something, but no, it's not that bad. Out of a, let's say on a scale of one to 10, I'll give this about a six, because the 10 would be sunny, no wind, Beautiful warm sunshine, about 20 degrees. That'd be a 10. <laughs> well, we're going across the guess. Still got a green light. Don't have a walk, but we got a green light. Alright. Where will we go? Let's go this way. in the university over here now. In case you're wondering, 
probably going to see a lot of uh, younger people. I might as well call them parkettes because that's what I call them in Ontario. So that's what I'm going to call them here. They don't have that name on it, but that's what I call them, parkettes. That's a good name for a little corner, you know, a park with a little bit of... It's not exactly a park, it's just a, a green grass and a couple of benches. That's a parkette. Ontario got a, great, got a good name for them, but they don't, they never picked that up here. You really never see a sign called it a park yet. But that's what I'm going to refer to it as from now on, parkettes. Because that's what they are. They're not big enough to be a park, so a parkette. All right, we are up in the university area. And we're getting wind. And this is, um, this is still, this is Spring Garden Road right here. We're up the upper end of it where there's not really any business as much. and then we'll make a, a left down the block. Heritage House, a few of those around. Oh man, they got a, a, an application to amend this. I guess they want to tear it down. So, I don't know, good luck. Not, it's not that easy when they're designated heritage properties. There's a lot of projects that get presented to City Hall and they never they never come to fruition because City Hall says no. They take a vote on it and all the city councilors, if you're outnumbered, it's back to the drawing board. You're gonna have to figure out something else. Try to get them to say yes on your next proposal. But that's the way it is. Ah, here's one that's jacked up. Looks like they're going to do something with that. It was a heritage property, I suppose, and uh, now they got it jacked up in the air. They're going to put it down on these beams, or they had it on these beams. I don't know. Anyway, it's. Uh, I guess they got moved from over here, and and put right and put right there. That's what it looks like. They put it on that wall over there. It was over this hole. Yeah, that's about what it is, okay. Here we are down around the university properties. And, uh, wow, took it right off that hole. Maybe they're gonna build a piece on it, who knows? Could be something like that. I can feel the wind pulling up my umbrella down here. But I'm thankful I brought it with me. I carry it most days. Unless it's like sunny and the weather is going to be sunny all day. Not even a slight chance of rain. Sometimes yeah, I leave it home. But other than that, I bring it. And the wind is increasing from right here on this street. Because it's pulling up my umbrella.
College of Pharmacy, George A. Burbridge, Burbridge, it's Burbridge uh, building. Dalhousie is part of Dalhousie University. And there's, if, you don't, if you're in doubt, there's a big sign right there on the cement. Dalhousie University. Oh, somebody parked the wrong direction over there. I don't know if you get a ticket for that or not. Probably. Well, we got a lot about that. That you have to face the way the traffic's running to park. I would imagine that's probably not legal. Okay, we're up to Roby again. Back up to Roby Street. I'm not walking across Roby today. I'm just taking a short little, little, uh, maybe a block or something. Yeah, well, uh, Easter's coming right up, because Friday's a day off, it's Good Friday. And all the churches are got Easter specials and Good Friday so, uh, church services uh, planned. That one there is no exception. Which makes a short work week this week. And Friday's a holiday for most people. Mostly everybody will have Good Friday off. Maybe some won't. The transportation uh, people will probably be working. And and other folks, restaurants and that kind of stuff. I think the supermarket will be closed on Good Friday morning, more than likely. Tim Hortons will be open most places. A few of the other ones. Let's uh, make a, a left turn here. We'll wait for the walk sign. I don't want to take a chance on this big. Inter it's it's, it's, a, it's a quite a way, quite a walk across. If you start when you can't go, you might not make it. So we'll wait for the we'll wait for the light. I'm shifting my phone and my umbrella to the opposite side because I got a different uh, feel to it. My phone is down lower, the umbrella is up high, and it just gives you a little break from the holding your arm in the same place all the time. We should get a green, here we go. We can walk now. Who'd ever thought you'd be able to get a, a motorbike that small, right? <laughs> drive electric motorbikes around and you don't need a license. Some places like I guess Toronto has is, is got a lot of laws about it. They won't let you ride things around unless you put a license on it. So they've uh, got laws against some of the stuff. But here you can ride just about anything around. Yeah, you can get a, two-wheel bike, a three-wheel bike, a scooter, all that stuff. You don't need any license, shorts, nothing. Just ride it. 
And that's the way it should be, because they're not motorized. It's funny, you get a you can get a moped and you got a license act because got, got an engine on it. But I think also I think I heard that up to 49 cc is is you don't need a license. And then once you go over that 50 mark then you need a license and uh, and uh, insurance and all that stuff. Yeah, okay. But now as uh, Spring Garden Road turns into Coburg if you come up past Roby. So we're on Coburg now. I'm not gonna go too far up here. But a little ways. And maybe, just maybe we'll walk over to Quinpool Road from up here. Not very far. So we might do that. I think that might be what I'll do. Just walk up here and and then we'll take a, a street, have to make a right and, and walk over to Kunfu Road, which is a business street in Halifax. Kind of kind of the edge of the West End. I'm having a good one. Waving my umbrella around here, there we go. Right. Yeah, I think I'll take maybe take a a walk down this way. And we'll let the cars go first and then I'll walk. Yeah, I'll we'll push the button and get a get a walk across here. Oops, sidewalk close, I gotta go to the other side. I also gotta walk out the road. Let's see, maybe just a little spot. Probably just a little spot so I can just I can just walk around it and, and then come back on the sidewalk. Sure, why not? Okay. There's the end of the block sidewalk right there. Guess they're doing a, a rental job to that house right there. Oh, I see another sign down here on the sidewalk. Oh, it's probably just saying sidewalk closed ahead. So people can prepare for it, yeah, more than likely. More than likely, that's what it is. I see a few trees have the branches cut off here. They probably were going up into the wires and they preempted it so they wouldn't have to worry about it later. They just cut them off and uh, then they won't worry about them getting into the wires or falling and breaking the wires. Of course, you know, I gotta turn around and see what this sign says. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna say, sidewalk closed ahead. All right, my curiosity. Sidewalk closed ahead. <laughs> of course, that's what it says. All right. Do you believe we've been half an hour into this video already? Well, I don't go a little more than that. I made a couple of shorter ones this week. So, like I said, we're having, we having computer issues. So, that's why I made it a little shorter. Cause... We've had our, we've had our uh, computer for quite a while now. So, I say we, oui, I don't even use them, but I am going to take a course soon to learn how to do some stuff on the computer. And anyways, yeah, we're, we're going to, we think we got our uh, issues solved. 
Hopefully, I think so. Okay. The rain hitting the umbrella. We haven't got any wind in here. It's all wet, no matter how you're walking. If you got the building beside you, sometimes you can get out of the wind. We haven't done a, a residential street for a while. This is parallel to Roby. Roby is that way. We're running a, a street parallel to Roby. And I think you can walk right across here to, to Quinnpool, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see. These are probably mostly students that live here, especially the Ontario car. They, uh, they don't have to change their plates when they're students here because they're going back home after. So, the, uh, as long as you're, uh, you don't have to change your license, driver's license, or your plates when you're a student here. Unless you're staying. Then you still wouldn't have to change them until you're done university. So. Yeah, a lot of these buildings here are, are owned by the university. They were bought up and used for places for students to stay. And some of them might be private. They rent out rooms and stuff like that. Jubilee Road. Here, Mike, here's your old neighborhood. Mike lived down there. He lives out in Manitoba now. And, but I like to show the stuff every once in a while. And brings back some memories and of where he grew up. Now yeah, wait, let the cars go by. One car coming up here, I'll wait. Let get two cars, three cars. So I'm coming this way now, so we'll I'll just stand here and wait, let them get by, and then uh, cross the street. No, we got, we got a lot of cars coming up here. I might not be able to wait forever. Sooner or later, I got a jaywalk. All right, they're stopping for them, I'll go to. There we go. Yeah, it's very busy right there. All right, I just passed Jubilee Road, right there. Take you right down to where Mike used to live, where he grew up here. My friend Roger, I don't know what happened to him. He he, he lives out in Vancouver. We did. I, he he kind of like disappeared. I don't know what, what where he, if he's okay or what. I just haven't heard. But, Sometimes things happen like that. You know, somebody you talk to all the time, and all of a sudden they're not here anymore. And you wonder, are they okay? Are they still around? You know, you know, don't know. Roger was another one that grew up in Halifax. And 
moved away. Moved away and, and never came back. Uh, he's out in Vancouver. I did that too when I was younger. I come back. I, I didn't grow up in Halifax. I grew up in New Brunswick, but, but I, I've been everywhere. I've been, uh, I've been out in British Columbia. Worked in uh, Manitoba and Winnipeg one summer. Yeah, I've been, I've worked, I've been just about every province, and. And now I'm in Nova Scotia. We lived in Ontario for a long time. I spent probably about 30 years of my life altogether in Ontario. The last time we were up, we were up there for about 15, 15 years. And, and I was there till I retired. Now I'm retired and... Personally, I can live anywhere, but... My family's working here, my wife's got a good job here, and uh, so I think we're here for some time. You can't predict the future, so who knows, right? I'm going to change my umbrella back to the other hand now. Put my phone in my right hand, it's better there, and I'll put my umbrella in my left there. Okay, there we are, making our way over to Quinpool. Maybe, uh, maybe you used to live around here. Somebody I'm showing this area to. Maybe you used to live here. You'll recognize these places, Cherry Street, and the residential area where a lot of people lived here. And yeah, maybe you'll recognize something that's familiar. Write me a comment, let me know. Munchies. They don't tell you if that is, oh, it's a convenience store. Munchie, it must be going to be a chain or something. Munchies Convenience. There we go. Munchies Convenience. On the corner of Linden and Vernon. We're walking Vernon Street. I lived one summer in Vernon, Vernon, British Columbia. Vernon is very hot in the summer and Kamloops, I lived in Kamloops too and uh, it's very hot in the summer. I worked on a farm and it was like desert there. Kamloops is like a desert. Everything has to be irrigated. It doesn't grow very good if it's not irrigated. It's like a desert in, in Kamloops. If you ever think about going to Kamloops, uh, be prepared for hot, dry weather in the summer. It does rain sometimes, but not enough. Whoop, a branch, of, a piece just fell off that tree. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, we gotta stop. I can walk across here. That branch on the sidewalk right there just fell off that tree. <laughs> Maybe a soft fall. That's possible. Yeah, we'll pick it off the sidewalk. Yeah. And we're almost up the Kung Fu Road. Soon we'll be there. Pepperell Street, and then the next one will be Kung Fu, I believe. photo, cameras, passports. My wife used to do that. She was a photographer in, in one part of her lifetime 
and she used to do passport photos for people and all that kind of stuff. Wow, it's windy up here. Very windy here. Red rabbit valley all over the place. Whoa, where's the wind coming from? I don't know what direction it's coming from. There's a little land all over the place here. I think it stopped raining. I might be able to fold my umbrella down now. Let's see. Turn it around. Excuse my camera here. I just had to turn the umbrella around there and had to point it away from the wind, into the wind, as you say. All right, sidewalk closed that way. Very windy up here for some reason. Well, let's see. Gotta wait for a, a light to get across. I could go that way and then cross over there. That way I, I wouldn't have to go. Closed. I'd say some branches probably fell down or a pole or something. Man. All right, we'll cross the street. Yeah, it's not raining now. Clean pool center. I used to come here a lot at one time, back home, years ago. I used to come up here, I used to drive up here and go to the McDonald's and different things in here. Kind of got away from that. buy 10 pound bag of potatoes for around five dollars now a five pound bag is, is five dollars and the supermarkets keep telling us oh no we just take a little bit if you have to we're only making six cents on a dollar right yeah mm -hmm. would you be in a business if you only made six cents off of every dollar i don't think so Yeah, the prices are going crazy. I could get on a rant about that, but I'll try not to. The only thing they can't touch is the milk. Milk is regulated by the government, and they can't they can't mess with that. They'd have to get a they'd have to go to the government and ask to raise it. The only way they could ever raise the price of milk. So thankful for that, that the government controls our milk. And, and uh, Americans can't get in here with theirs. They could make a deal, but I guess they don't like the deal. And we wouldn't buy it because we want to support our own local farmers. You know, they try. They try to bring their milk here. 
But we got a lot of regulation, and maybe that's what's keeping them out of here. Could be, could be the regulations. Well, I'm glad we have the regulations, because at least it keeps, it keeps that price from climbing too fast on the milk. I guarantee you, if we took off the regulations and let the super stores and all the different brands control it, the jug of milk would be twenty dollars in, in a very short time. But we're protecting the price, so we can't do that. Well, it's nice to come up here today, walk around. Haven't been up here for a little while. On Queen Pool Road, I just might walk up to uh, possibly Tim Hortons up here and have a coffee there. And then when I want to leave here, I'll, I'll make my way back downtown. I won't be making a video on my way back down because this is be it for today. And this will be almost an hour long. It's 40. 46 and a half minutes right now, so we'll be close to an hour video by the time I get up here to Oh, TV Bank is getting a facelift. I see. They're doing that, and I guess in all the banks, there's one downtown was getting some work too. I think it's time to put my umbrella back up. It kind of looks that way. There we go. You know, it looks like a few drops falling. But thankful of the wind now. Wind, wind's not blowing the umbrella around. So well, that's good. I remember when that building right there was, was going up. Colvin was on when they were, when it was just a uh, hole in the ground and, and starting to build. Then they went for a year, not too much going on. They were working away at that. But, uh, and then McDonald's was just beyond it. And they had a lot of regulations where you could only get one here and one there, and a lot of chairs closed up and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That was just, just, the Steve feels like a year ago, but it was probably two or three years ago. And I remember that building was under construction right then when COVID was here. Now it's all done, and people living in there. Pet Value store moved in. Then we get to Tim Martin's, it's almost the end of the, the businesses on Quinnpool. Quinnpool Road's a nice street, nice and not a not a bad little area to live in. I think it's the next block. You gotta go past Harvard Street and we'll come to Tim Hortons in the next block, I think. Could be two blocks, because there is one light up here beyond that light. Yeah. So, yeah, one more block. Two blocks up, we should be there. Uh, McDonald's. I mean, it's uh, Tim Hortons. I got McDonald's on the brain. Tim Hortons. I like McDonald's and I get under against McDonald's coffee and it's good. I think I'll just go to Tim Hortons today and hang out. 
and take my time, take out my headphones and listen to some music and, and uh, have some coffee, relax, take it easy. No sense hurrying back home, nobody there. Um, only one day left in the work week this week. This is Wednesday, we got tomorrow, and then that's it. Good Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday we've got Monday off too, but my wife won't have it off. She'll be working on, on Monday. The courier business, they have to work quite, off, quite a bit. A lot of couriers work on Saturdays, but she don't. She's, uh, she don't have to work on Saturday. Once, and once in a long time, they'll have like a couple of deliveries, and they'll ask her if she'll come in to do that. And she does. But normally she don't work on Saturday. Well, that was one block. Now the next block. That's, I see it right there. Turn white and see it. The next sign you can see hanging out over after this one is Tim Hortons up there. Yeah. We're almost there. Nice long walk though. Got it. Putting on lots of miles. I got a notice on my phone. I was just a few more steps away from my my heart, uh, what they call it, your, 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 your exercise, your heart points. There you go, heart points, yeah. They're just a few steps away from my heart point, making my points this week. So, they always remind you. They always say, oh yeah, you're just a few steps away from your heart points. You know. Who are those people? I don't know. They must be famous. I don't know who they are. No idea. Well, we're almost to Chen I gotta have put my, unfold my umbrella and do all this stuff, so all this stuff right here. And I fold my umbrella up a little bit. There. Alright. And I'm going to end this video right here at Tim Hortons. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to put that like and subscribe. And uh, if, you, if you are a subscriber, my well, thanks to you. And uh, thanks to all the comments. If you make comments, if you haven't made any yet, send me a comment and tell me how you like the videos and, or anything you want to talk about. Okay? With that, I hope you're having a really nice day. Take care. Be safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.